Hi everyone. Today I will introduce a special zip trunk and uh, make custom SSH configuration in PBX to work with such type of zip trunk. This kind of zip trunk is register type with general zip trunk address, username, password, and uh, some other information. The key point for such zip operator do not accept register packet sent from PBX, but when making calls, PBX should send the authentication details entered in zip trunk configuration page. In general, PBX will send register packet to operator. What will be changed in this video is to make custom SSH which do not allow PBX to send register packet. Through such custom change, you might see the trunk status in PBX monitor on web interface is offline, but in background, if you check with command, you would find the trunk is available. So you will still be able to make calls. Okay, now we are going to make custom change and just add a simple line script by SSH. Go to SSH and uh, go to custom folder. Create custom file pjzip underline custom dot conf enter such content Okay, let's all save and exit with WQ. Continue to run some other command to make it take effect. First, we run Aster configure. Then we access asterisk to run one more command. That is pj zip reload. Okay, what we have done is all the above steps. Let's check the status on web now in PBX monitor. Okay, this is uh, what we have made for the trunk. And uh, we can see the trunk status is offline. And uh, we go back to background of PBX and uh, run the command pjzip show contacts okay let's stop quickly maximum the window and uh, we found the trunk is this one and we can see the status is available 
with the short word avail. Okay, so so this is what we have done in this video, and the rest is you need to confirm the the trunk with the operator whether they ask for such custom change in PBX. Okay, this is all what I want to show you today. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, this is what we in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more details about troubleshooting. Check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration. Please visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.